Today I am discussing about EDTA gel and sodium hypochlorite solution combination used to disinfect root canals. There are lot of irrigants available starting from normal saline to chlorhexidine, EDTA, sodium hypochlorite and many more. But the ideal irrigant should have antimicrobial property and tissue dissolving capacity. Sodium hypochlorite fulfill both of these but during canal preparation when we do filing a mixture of tissue debris and dentinal chips makes a smear layer over canal walls. Now sodium hypochlorite cannot dissolve dentinal chips and unable to reach dentinal tubules for disinfection. Here comes the role of EDTA. In simple language EDTA takes out the calcium from dentinal chips by chelation which is the major part of dentine and what left remaining can easily dissolve by sodium hypochlorite. This way EDTA facilitates the function of sodium hypochlorite. Another point here is EDTA softens the dentine in canal wall by same way removing or you can say chelating the calcium and have lubricating action too. This makes files work easy in scraping the canal walls especially when we are advancing 4% and 6% taper files in narrow and curved canals it is never easy without EDTA gel. So EDTA and sodium hypochlorite combination fulfills all the requirements of ideal irrigation. Now the point is whenever you are using two different chemicals they interact to each other and sometimes they decrease the efficacy of each other too. In EDTA and sodium hypochlorite interaction sodium hypochlorite doesn't affect the chelating property of EDTA but EDTA affects sodium hypochlorite's efficacy. Sodium hypochlorite release free chlorine ions which is responsible for its tissue dissolving capacity and antimicrobial property. EDTA reduces these free chlorine ions. So EDTA and sodium hypochlorite combination has many advantages but one disadvantage. To conquer this problem I suggest some solutions. First is to increase the volume of hypochlorite and irrigate frequently to replenish the free chlorine ions to increase the efficacy. Then use very small amount of EDTA gel because its efficacy depend upon the content point not on volume. Copious sodium hypochlorite irrigation at the start of BMP when there is no EDTA can be very effective in removing loose debris and then at the end of preparation wash out all the EDTA with normal saline and do copious irrigation to remove any debris or tissue in the canal. So I conclude by saying that most common regime for canal disinfection is EDTA gel and sodium hypochlorite. Coat each rotary file with EDTA gel and place it in canal which should be filled with sodium hypochlorite. Thank you.